Hello tubers, Miss Cal here. This is a great little torch this, but um, I've lost the battery carriage for it and I really want to house my fat beam laser. And guess what? It fits in that barrel perfectly. So I'm going to pull out the, the diode and mount that in there somehow. Don't have a lot of room for battery, but um, yeah. Your fun little lightsaber build. Um, it doesn't look like it unscrews. Uh, I don't want to destroy the 5 watt LED, but I will just start wailing on it from the back like this and get it pressed in. Move it. I've been smashing on it. I've tried to turn that. Yeah, cool. Just incredible. That just fits perfectly in there. Look at that. These types of cells here might be a good choice. I've just tested the uh, switch. There's no circuitry in here. That's just a switch. And the switch is working fine. So that together, um, I think this will work out nice. Just throwing in some uh, box strapping. There's a spacer. There's a bit of a gap there. That's all right happy with what that looks like. That looks pretty cool. Gives me all that room in there for battery. I do have to house this little... It's got to fit in there. I might shorten the wires on that too. I just pinched this ring off another dead torch. Now it's longer and I've got room possibly for a full 18650. Well, this is looking good, this build. There's a little bit of room there. If I cut that ring off, I can put that ring in, which if I trim up this, I might be able to accommodate that um, in the end there, because if it goes that way, it's going to take up a lot of room. So I'm just going to have a little bit of an exploratory under there and see what I've got. If I could fit it sideways, that would be awesome, because um, it's really close. Looks like everything's just going to work. I definitely want to cut that off so I've got a, a, a ring that I can slide in and that'll give me a little bit of room. I think I'll set it up so that I can put that in there on the angle. And that'll give me a little bit more room than um, I otherwise would have had. Without having a lathe, it's going to be a little bit trickier than it should be. Okay, so... Chop this guy off. Cone on that shaft, it uh, should help center that, and I could put that on there and then part it off like with a hand tool, like a wood turning lathe. Okay, should be able to use one of these cheap carbide bits as a tool. Okay, give this a whirl. Might help if I plug it in, eh? It's a bit scary. Actually looks like it's gone right through. Nice little groove so I can turn it with a 
flathead screwdriver or something like that. That looks alright. There it is, looking about as good as my machine shop's going to get it. So I've got everything set up quite nicely. I've put a, a spring in that, and I've got this little piece robbed out of another torch, or that other failed torch where I've got that uh, extra uh, aluminium barrel. So this completes the circuit with the top end of an 18650, and then the negative's going to go to the barrel, which connects to the barrel and the switch anyway, so this will all work quite nicely. And I'm just honing out the inside here to get the anodized material off so that um, uh, so that um, I can make contact with the inside. Help if I turned it on. contact with the side Okay, I've got it nicely assembled in there. I'm just going to come over the top with this aluminium tape. Chop that off there. Go right around the back. Just hold everything in nicely. Put plastic spaces in there. Holding the little PCB on a, a little angle there so that everything sits right. happy with that I've sharpened the edge up on there I've tested it it works so that should be able to be slid into there that'll take up on there's a piece of uh, there's a little bit of a step in there you can see and it'll take up on the step and push into there and stop it sliding back literally can't get a cell to fit in there so I'm going to make a little round battery carriage around this and just put tabs either end and make it fit Now I just need to fluff it up and make it the right length and have a M3650. 
Is that the bodgiest looking thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Moment of truth. I'll have to massage it a bit to get it in there. That took far more time than I thought it would. Here we have it.